and this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? So, 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 so I'm going to go to prison for a long time. <laughs> so my life is over. Oh, not all this work for nothing, man. Uh, uh, being tough in a man's world. Guess I wasn't so tough, huh? Turn states. Everyone's a rat. Not me. <laughs> Whatever. Open up, man. Who is it? It's the streets, man. Okay, hold on. All right, man. Oh. This is what Manny's oh. all about, man. Manny, 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 Manny. Now, word up, bitch. You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo. We don't want it anymore. Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling. Is this, Manny, for fuck's the sake. The streets have spoken. Now leave my people alone. Hey, Nico, what are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I am not in the mood for this right now. Well, he said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor and broker who can help. Come on. Let's put him in my car. Jacob, I'm sorry. I'm already hanging out with two friends. I've kind of got my hands full looking after them. Uh, we should do something soon, though. some bodies in here. I've heard you'll take care of them. Uh, natural causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No. Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're gonna help a lot of folks. He's been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. The doctor has that stuff. Good. One last thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. Taxi! Hey, we just did. 
Where to? Take me to this beauty, sir. This is as close as I can get. Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard living with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the president's turned into an asshole. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. Mm. I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talks. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Shit's fucked up, man. Sometimes I just want to end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm -mm. Not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. They'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Wayne don't need to worry about having that girl's blood on his hands on top of everything else.
Duane. I've got your money. Why don't you meet me at Clockingdale so I can give it to you? Great. Thanks, son. See you soon. Collected on that debt for you. They pay it up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Cherise, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she burned me good. Guess I should have listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She just an idiot. Peace, man. I saved your ass. Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of... I don't know what she is, but she was lying to us all along, and now I'm paying for it. Nesta, there was always something funky about her. I'm real sorry. What's up, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Yeah, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfuckers been calling me a phony. Calling me a snitch. Calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker. Well, you got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you'll need this guy's silence? Yeah. He hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now, he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eyes. And he a hustler. Eh? <laughs> Homie ain't too brawly. But he ain't scrawny, neither. But he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy, too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin be. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels, and he stays fresh with the clean sneakers. Know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. 
Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this, head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. That's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family. Dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold. 
about to go see some naked women, but this time it's business, not pleasure. We have to hang out another time. See you. Nobody's gonna be partying up at your club anymore. Playboy ain't gonna be happy. What do you mean? You built their business with the gangs that they took over. That. They fuck me, they fuck me. Right? Playboy's gonna feel that shit. Sure thing, man. Likes to party. He stays up late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, you know. Something ain't right. I saved your ass. Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of a good man. Come over to Mama's on Savannah Avenue in Memphis. 
Meadows Park. I'm always in need of money. See you there. Jimmy, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jimmy, sir. You're Take undercover. You up. As in deep. <laughs> hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch. Looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Uh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I... He's got it all wrong. He's got... But one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? Uh, some lawyer. This big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, some... enough. Enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. Gonna go to the DA with it. Use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But, he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then, you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh, get yourself a suit. Okay. I'll email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man. Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does.
sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. All when you hear about the interview. people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking boo. Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> And weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you work for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellique, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? You think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now. You can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those creepies in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey. Welcome to America. Pascala Stala Dejava. Boshka.
Mr. Minkom! Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his email. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa, killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Посы... Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. Minkoff is dead. Country is safe. Not by a long shot, smart ass. Nothing is safe. No one is safe. Maybe something has been averted. Maybe delayed. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. Getting on my nerves. Come in, Nico. Hi. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Oh, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. Maybe I won't. Now, get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go!
This place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the east. You better start doing me some favors soon. Did you serve your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye. <laughs>